The Argos weren't just beaten, they were badly beaten up, which means Bob Abilovich is looking hard for healthy bodies. Well, it won't be easy, but we've got some players here, and uh, we have to look at the, the health factor to decide how to use the healthy guys we have and, uh, you know, and try and plan for when we might get back some of the players who got it, uh, injured. The seriously injured appear to be on defense. Nose tackle Leon Hatsiano is gone for a month with a ligament tear. The same injury suffered by all-star linebacker Kelvin Tiggle. When that happened, the Argos simply got younger, Jermaine younger. And even though it was his first game as a pro, he was absolutely outstanding. But then he too went down with an injury and could be lost to the team for a month. That was my first game back, and I'm anxious. I was like, you know, this is my, this is my time now, and then, boom, I'm hurt. So, you know, it's patience. I've been waiting, so I can wait some more, you know. Tony Abilovich has been waiting since last year to see how his injured knee would respond. It lasted only a game and a half. I think there's a lot of us out there that were really giving it our all and, you know, we got some bad breaks, you know, same thing that happened to me last year, you know, and it's something I'm just going to have to, you know, think about and deal with and go from there, I guess. Going from week to week, offensive lineman Pierre Vercheval, he tore a calf muscle and is doubtful for Saturday. And though the Argos have healthy backups on O-line, filling in is tough. The backups are all capable of playing. It's just that you know you gotta you know you gotta play together. You gotta know what the guy next to you is doing, and I think that's the biggest problem when you get in. You know, with backups, you know they don't get all the reps in practice, and that's you know that's why it's it's tough. Which is why Carl Coulter will be pressed into action, gimpy knee or otherwise. You're always playing hurt, but my knee feels a lot better than it did uh, last couple of weeks. Uh, took some time off and uh, helped to get some strength back in it. So, I mean, I don't think it'll be 100%, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to go with whatever uh, works. On the positive side of things, Kent Austin may play despite suffering a concussion. Marvin Graves is also available, even with a pulled groin. And Jock Climey could be in the lineup as well. However, a sore kneecap and hamstrings are still nagging him. Rob Sinclair, Global Sports.